Good day. My name is Jenvin Jerry Pañales, a math major teacher, and today I'm going to present to you my math lesson for senior high school. And this is my lesson plan. This time I will give you a short overview from our previous lesson. What is a function? A technical definition of a function is a relation from a set of inputs to a set of possible outputs where each input is related to exactly one output. This simply means that if the object x is in the set of input of called domain, then the function f will map the object f x to exactly one object f of x in the set of possible outputs, which is called the codomain. Today, we're going to talk about evaluating function. In this lesson, we have the following objectives. Evaluate a function. Find the function value of f of x as a specific value of x. Evaluate functions given a specific value of x and show accuracy in evaluating a function. For example, what would happen if a sack of rice grains is poured into the opening of a working milling machine? If one thinks of functions as a function machine, evaluating a function is analogous to providing our machines with a valid input. What is evaluating functions? Evaluating a function means replacing the variable in the function, in this case x with a value from function's domain and computing for the result. To denote, to denote that we are evaluating f at a for some a in the domain f, we write f of a. Remember, we replace the variable in the function. Okay, if one thinks of functions as a machine, evaluating a function is similar to providing our machines with a valid input. For example, evaluate function x equals 2x plus 1 at the specific value of x, x plus 2. So remember, uh, we replace the value of the variable to the given um, value which is 2. First, we state the function or the given function f of x equals 2x plus 1 and then replace the value of x which is x to 2, so f of 2 equals 2 times 2, x to 2 plus 1. So that is a substitution. Next step, we use the closure property of multiplication. So we simply multiply. So f of 2 equals 4, 2 times 2, that's 4 plus 1. The next step, we use the closure property of addition. We simply add 4 plus 1 is 5. Thus, the function value is 5. Just simple. Alright, next example. What is the function value of f as defined in the previous example? If evaluated at um, f equal or f of 3x minus 1. So we have f of x. The value of x is 3x minus 1. So the uh, step 1 is we write the given function, which is f of x equals 2x plus 1. The next one is we replace the value of the variable, which is from x, it will become to um, 3x minus 1. So f of 3x minus 1 equals uh, 2 times 3x minus 1 plus 1. This time, we are going to use the distributive property. Okay, so uh, 2 times 3x, that is 6x. 2 times uh, negative 1, that is negative 2. Copy positive 1. This time, we're going to use the um, closure property of addition. So just simply add. So just copy 6x, and then negative 2 plus 1, that is uh, negative 1. So we have the function uh, 3x minus 1 equals uh, 6x minus 1. Thus the function value is 6x minus 1. This time, let's try to solve this problem. Mark uh, started selling snacks in the nearby school. 
in one day he spends 200 pesos for rent and 25 pesos for each snack item he prepares. His expenses in a single day can be expressed as function CX, C of X equals 25X plus 200, where X is the number of items and the C of X is his daily expenses in pesos. How much are these expenses if he prepares 100 snack items? And how about 150 uh, snacks item? All right, now, we have first 100 snack items. So we have the function C of X at 25 X plus 200. So remember we replace the value of the variable. So we have 100, 25 times 100. Uh, plus 200. So we have C of X, C of uh, 100 equals 25 times 100, that is 2500 plus 200. And to simplify, we have the final answer of 2700 pesos. If Mark spends, um, if Mark prepares 100 snack items, he would spend uh, 2,700 pesos. How about 150 snack items? So x equals 150. So we simply copy again the function c of x equals 25x plus 200. So we simply replace again the value of variable c of 150 equals 25 times 150 plus 200 so we have c of 150 so 25 times 150 that is 3750 plus 200 so the final answer is uh, 3950 pesos if mark uh, prepares 150 snack items, he would spend 3,950 pesos. Alright, now, how does uh, evaluating a function done? Remember evaluating a function done or can be done by replacing the variable in the function. In this case, x, we evaluate from the function's zooming and computing for the result to denote that we are evaluating f at a for some a in the domain of f, we write f of a. All right, this time, um, can you evaluate the following functions at the given value x equals three? Of course, yes. Okay, for the first fu function, remember, we just re like replace. So we have f of three equals three minus three. So f of 3 equals 3 minus 3, that's 0. For the second function, we replace e of x to 3. e of 3 equals 3 squared plus 1 over 3 minus 4. So we have p of 3 equals 3 squared, that is 9 plus 1, okay? over uh, 3 minus 4, that is negative 1, e of 3, 9 plus 1, that is 10, over negative 1. To simplify, we have the final answer of e of 3 equals negative 10. That is very simple. If you have some questions, you are free to ask me. Okay, thank you so much for having fun learning with me. Have a great day. Goodbye.